And we're back. All of this stuff, man, is some old stuff in here, but it over the years, we've kind of updated it a little bit. You know, Ed, I don't even remember. This was uh, probably, when do you think, late 90s with uh, the tape That would have been late 90s, yep. Okay, Ed and I were developing these before we had the faceplate. This is what it looked like. So, uh, boy, see no screws, you know? <laughs> we just used to take the liner and pull it right up and then put tape around it, but it worked. 30 years, this thing has been held. The same original liner. So this liner was in that ground for 30 years and it didn't leak. So that's the testament to uh, Ed. Pretty impressive. Ed, look at the uh, retaining wall. Oh my gosh. What, that's what's left of the retaining wall. Falling apart. So we're just gonna use big stone there instead. Wow. But look at that, I mean, that thing is just, you know, 30 years in the ground. Jeez. This is gonna be a fun project to redo the first pond that Aquascape ever built <laughs> for a paying customer. That's right, it's all by yourself. <laughs> yep, I did it. I think there's one of my football guys right there. Good morning. Good morning. Love the hair. You the linebacker? No, I am a lineman. Lineman? Yeah. All right. What was your name? James. What last name? Capitanic. Capitanic. That's what I know he has. I'm the pond guy. You ready to work, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. Like the shirt. 1327. This is a pond that I first built. Actually, even better. This is the first pond I ever built for a paying customer. I had done one project, a waterfall into a pond, and uh, Jim Celebron called me up, I think out of an ad out of the Wheaton Leader, and 30 years ago, how old are you, like 18? 17. 17, all right, a couple years older than you. I was 21 when I built this pond, and there, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Rumpel Shirtskin himself, Jim Celebron. He was a sophomore at Ohio State. That's right, that's right. Hey, dug this all out. But I was about as strong as that guy back in the day. How you doing, I'm Jim, nice to meet you. Okay, so Jim called me this winter and said, hey, why don't you just, instead of doing just a clean out for me, why don't you redo my pond after 30 years? Right. And of course, we were already scheduled for the entire year, so I hired a couple guys on the football team from Wheaton Academy, and you're gonna rip out this pond today and get ready for us tomorrow. Sounds good, sounds Let's like a plan. Man. Let's get started. So you've enjoyed this for 30 years. Oh, every morning, every morning. Well, I was just thinking about it. I mean, we've had three dogs, and since we've lived, oh, here, yeah. all three of the guys have always spent every morning out here with me. It's just, it's just <laughs> what, what, what we do every morning. Uh, all right, so you already turned it off. I shut it off last night just to try to dry it out a little bit. Okay, nice, nice. So we just got some goldfish, and is there any yeah. koi? No. Just no. all goldfish. And I lost just last week. I lost my big, my, my prettiest fancy, I call her fancy goldfish, which is about this big. Are you serious? Yeah, uh, here and we were out of town. Uh-oh. I didn't keep an eye on it for three or four days. I had a guy coming over here feeding and watering the plants, but somehow this guy, this heron, decided to come over. Just one fish though, huh? Two. Two fish. They're the biggest ones. Oh my. Well, look, I think the plants are really needing to be thinned out. Yeah, right. That is for sure. But for 30 years, it's, it's worked. Oh gosh, yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been fantastic. This one iris back here, uh, we'll ask the guys to take care of that one, maybe dig it out. Uh -huh. That was from Grandma's house. Aww. So it's, it's Grandma's uh, iris, we call it the Cassie iris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you could tell how old it is. I mean, the, the, the timber retaining wall that we built is falling apart. Yeah. 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 But, but what's incredible is this hasn't leaked. It's the same liner. Right, for same 30 line. years. EPDM rubber liner, that'll work. But but the plants have overgrown and uh, you know, I you know, kind of the berm has actually eroded away a little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna build build that up a little bit. We're not gonna use timbers, we're gonna use big boulder retaining wall in here. Good. Oh, the electrical is back here, huh? Yes. Yep. Holy cow. We'll have to move that a little bit. There's the pump comes from here and it goes right in there. Right. I think back in the day we even did the electrical for you. Oh, you you did a little patio. We had a little patio here. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, it's obviously a new patio that you put in. Circular patio that you put there. Yeah. <laughs> you did it all, Greg. I did back in the day, but yeah, you can see the, how I hit the biofalls. It has it's eroded away all of the soil, so we're just gonna pull that out. New biofalls, new skimmer, new retaining wall, and a more beautiful waterfall, and then thin out the plants, and you're gonna have it. And so I got these kids, the muscle ripping it out today, and then tomorrow Ed and I are coming with two other young kids, and in one day we're gonna have this thing completely a new face left for you, buddy. That sounds awesome. I, I can't wait. Although, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss this, just the sound, because it's going to be a different sound. It will. It's be updated. Yeah. You know? 
it'll, it'll be the, the new century sound. But it, I can't tell you, I just can't tell you the time I've spent out here. And every morning, it's the first thing I do. I love I that. And instead of running for the coffee machine, I run out here, <laughs> open the drapes, and just look out. And, make and sure see what's going on. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a fun project to redo the first pond that Aquascape ever built <laughs> for a paying customer. That's right. It's all by yourself. <laughs> yep, I did it. Can we let Zoe out? Come on, Zoe. You're excited to see everybody. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Peter, I, I worked with you. Okay, what are you weighing? Uh, 215 right now. That's pretty much what I weighed when I built this pond. Now I'm 230, but not as, not as, not as, uh, not as lean as I used to be. So there's 500 bucks. You get 500 bucks right now, but when I come back, I want to see none of this. So you're going to take everything out of here and you're going to put it on the side so that we can rebuild it tomorrow, okay? okay? And this guy was the hardest working guy that we brought out from the team. So I, th I expect you to work as equally as hard as him, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna just basically take everything out. You're gonna put everything to the one side because we're gonna reuse some of the stone. All of that decomposed wood, that goes to the front yard because we're just gonna haul that out of there. We're gonna drain this water. We're gonna pull the fish. We're gonna put a little a blue tank over here that you catch the fish out of. And then we're gonna take all of the aquatic plants out, rip out the liner. And basically, if you get done at three o'clock, you get done at three o'clock. If you get done at seven o'clock, you get done at seven o'clock, but you make the same 500 bucks. Okay. I think it's a good deal for us both. I don't have to do all the grunt work and you get 500 bucks cash. Perfect. You giving them some merch? Yeah. Oh, let me see this. Yeah. this, is, this is let me see. Oh yeah, not bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, this is a long sleeve model and then a couple of hats. I was saying this guy needs a hat. Hey, there you yeah. go. So tell them about Rumpel Shirtskin. Do you ever heard of Rumpel Shirtskin in Wheaton? No. How long have you had it, Jim? 37 years. Wow. No, check that, no. 42 years. 42 years, Rumpel Shirtskin in Wheaton. He was the shirt guy back in the day making all of our shirts, and he's got some shirts for you guys, too. Okay. And inside there's drinks, so you guys just help yourself. Like you said, you may want to Look save those, that. take them home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bad gig. You already start, you get 500 bucks up before you did it, and shirts. Exciting day, buddy. Totally. 30 totally years. Exciting day. God. All right, guys. Good job. <laughs> we'll see you later. We'll see you later. See you later, Greg. Thank uh, you. All right, buddy. Going in for the first fish. Boy, it's a jungle back here. There you go. Yeah, just keep that in the water a little bit. Use your hand to flip it over. Okay. We're building you a new home, guys. You're gonna be very excited. You're moving on up. Okay. All right, you guys got it? Yep. You know what to do? All right, call me with any questions. Thanks, boys. <laughs> this is really exciting for me, and I'm gonna have fun working with Ad. I think we got Jack. We got two new two Jacks. We got two Jacks, I think, out with us tomorrow. Two newer guys. Jack's been with me a couple years, and uh, Ad and I get to rebuild the first pond that I ever built for somebody. When we come back, this thing will be destroyed. Look at what the guys did. All of this stuff, man, is some old stuff in here, but it over the years we've kind of updated it a little bit, you know, and I don't even remember. This was uh probably when do you think late 90s with uh, the tape? That under. would have been late 90s, yep. Okay, Ed and I were developing these before we had the faceplate. This is what it looked like. So uh boy, see no screws, you know. <laughs> we just used to take the liner and pull it right up and then put tape around it, but it worked. 30 years this thing has been held. And then my dad, who who uh started a little business after me, 
made a look at he came back to the Celebrons and uh, up, updated their oh garbage can skimmer to a bellows flap. So this was my dad's old business. Long story there, we won't get into. So these were two updated products from the original, this was an original cattle trough. Then eventually this thing, probably five, six years later that we put in together. And then probably about the same time, my dad updated the skimmer, but the same original liner. So this liner was in that ground for 30 years and it didn't leak. So that's the testament to uh, Ed. Pretty impressive. Ed, look at the uh, retaining wall. Oh my gosh. What, that's what's left of the retaining wall. Falling apart. So we're just gonna use big stone there instead. Wow. But look at that, I mean, that thing is just, you know, 30 years in the ground. Jeez. You know, it did its job though. It did its job, okay, so let's see. And that was all, that's inch and a quarter poly pipe. So yeah. that was not PVC and that wow. stuff was, that That was a paint. And look at just little hose clamps. Yeah. Holding that worked. stuff together. It worked, stainless steel, the underground. But look at how high the ground had shrunk. I mean, all of this, I mean, you could see where the ground level was right there. <laughs> <laughs> they did a pretty good job, those nice. kids. Nice. Heck yeah, that's hey, awesome. 500 bucks to have it all taken apart like that. Oh, save our back. Worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the footprint. Look, oh, look at this. Old newspapers. Oh yeah, remember when we used to <laughs> use yes, newspaper? Of course. I mean, you can still read it 30 <laughs> years later. That's incredible. Isn't that? That's amazing. It even looks old. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? it that looks that's really like, old. like an antique. Jeez. <laughs> so this was all dug by hand back then. And oh. this is, I don't even know, what kind of tree is this? Do you know? Look how cool know. this is with these Oh, that looks like, it, like, it's like a linden. I think it might be a linden tree, you're yeah. right. But this is Never where the Never seen one that big, was. or that's weird for it to branch out like that. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's so yeah, anyway. Power he, lines are like going he doesn't want it. He loved this so much. He was already lamenting losing the sound of the waterfalls for the new one. And I think this was a little high. I think we're going to go a little bit lower. Well, we got to figure out how much soil we need, and then obviously we're going to use stone instead of the wood for the retaining wall. Yep. And then I'm a little concerned. I'll be interested in what you think. How we do the interface up here because they took the concrete out, so we probably need to go get some more concrete. Mm -hmm. But but well, we could do a metal edging there too. Oh, that's a good idea and then we that's, can just stake it in that's why i bought, brought you along do we have some metal edging at the office maybe okay if, uh, not, if not jack is going to go grab soil i think they have it at i know they have it at uh, illinois brick okay so we're how much soil do you think we should get out here i think we could probably be nice to dig a little pocket where that where the waterfall is going to come in you know so like if we kind of dug into here yes and kind of make more a little bit of a peninsula over in here like that's going to generate a bunch of soil okay but we could take i don't know we, can, we could easily take two yards i would say so two yards plus that and so we're going to have out this wouldn't doesn't need to be deep you know we'll uh, dig, dig down just to eight inches below water level or something like that just to make like a little cove in here right and, and then we could twist this so again what is so family room over here seating area you got a piano right and he literally lives on this patio this is where so he I would say we kind of cut it more get rid of this corner so yep. it's a little bit more visible you know so we'll generate some soil there i think we will i think we'll right. generate a lot right i think he's going to be upset if we make the waterfalls a little too much shorter but i don't want to make it too high either no we don't and i don't want to put too much oil on top of that tree no i mean you got these branches and all this stuff coming through it'll look kind of weird i think if we go too much so what do you say buddy the four of us today I'm ready okay one day let's see how we transform this baby 